Hey guys, Kelo this side. In this session, I'm going to discuss how I'm going to deal machines. Okay, definitely for sure you are going to fall in love with machines. Trust me, because I'm not going to follow any textbook. Okay? Because one thing I can tell you, if I if I have to follow one textbook, what does it mean? You can buy the textbook with three hundred rupees or five hundred rupees. Or many soft copies are available. Okay, you need not pay anything. And why to pay this twenty seven thousand rupees for a plus subscription and all? Okay. That's why we are not going to follow any textbook. Everything in a practical way we are going to discuss. Everything is going to be practice only. Okay, from pragmatic approach means multiple things will be there. Kind of shaft length should be more or should be less. Our area should be more or should be less. Everything because machines means that maturity and understanding contradictions properly. Okay, so I will tell you one small example how contradiction should be. For example, like. Uh, our uh, indians were ruled by Br british right now by means uh, by getting ruled by british is it good or bad we should be ready to say good also we should be ready to say bad also okay getting my point right so they have done good also they have done bad also okay so we should think depending upon the question being asked if the question is being asked in civil service for example what good they have done we should be able to answer Okay, and what bad they have done, they also we should be able to answer. Machines means maturity, guys. Understanding contradictions means at one point we say this is right, at another point we say this is right, and in this particular process, means I'm going to discuss now. You will understand at each and every step, at each and every step, the contradiction. For sure, you will love it. Anyway, before starting anything, I'm K N Rao, and I got I completed 20 years of teaching by Gate 2021 for Gate and EAC aspirants. And I'm planning to take electrical machines from tomorrow in place. Okay. And networks. I started I started already in uh, YouTube. And power systems. I will plan. And uh, use my code KNR10 such that you will get 10% discount. And beyond that, you can be guided personally by me. Okay. And then, see here in Anacademy, there are uh, two kinds of platforms. Plus platform will be there. Iconic platform will be there. In plus platform, live classes will be there, crash courses will be there, rank upon batches will be there, doubt solving will be there. Okay. And beyond this, if you want some personal touch, personal guide, personal mentor, then go for iconic subscription. In iconic subscription, personal coach will be there who will plan your study plan. Okay. And uh, who will give you the intricate, in depth, critical analysis of your uh, online test series and all because that is very, very important. We should know our weaker areas, right? We should know our weaker areas, then only we can strengthen them. Okay. And study poster series will be there, and uh, study material also they are going to provide. And see here for uh, plus for 12 months, if you use my code KNR10, it will cost you around 27,225, and uh, easy EMI options also available. Okay, and for uh, 18 months, it is going to be 34,650, and for uh, 24 months, it is going to be 39,600. And if you plan to think, uh, if you plan to take subscription under I iconic subscription it is going to for one year it is going to be 40,500 and for two years it is going to be 54,000 okay now here are they thought of increasing the fee structure from July 1st onwards but they postponed that because of huge demand from the student community not to increase at any point of time very soon they are going to increase so if you want to take the subscription take soon and this is park batch and water batch uh, Spark batch is meant for gate 2022 and work batch is meant for 2023. In this, I'm going to take electrical machines in place from tomorrow. Okay. Evening 5 30 to 7 30. And Vishnu Sir Rajakan also. Actually, to all of them, with all of them I worked previously, they are top educators, best educators. Okay. And see here, this is for uh, English or Hindi batches, lecture batch and Arohan batch. Lecture batch is meant for uh, Gator ESC 2022 and Arohan batch is meant for Gator ESC 2023. Obviously, faculties are top. Ankit sir is there, Ankit Goel sir, and Arjit Kangal, Suresh sir, Vishal Suresh sir. Like, they are top. They are top. Okay. I can tell you one thing. At this point of time, you can wholeheartedly trust an academy. Yes. Okay. And the test series also they are providing for uh, plus. If you take the paid subscription, you are going to get plus uh, test series also. Now, if you want to follow me, follow me at uh, KN Rao, number 4U in an academic platform, such that you will get the notifications whenever I'm coming to live for special classes or plus classes or whatever it may be. Now, see here. At each and every step, okay, at each and every step, we understand the machine. Because basically, 
we are engineers, we are not scientists. I repeat, we are engineers, we are not scientists. Okay? Scientists will be there either at kid stage or beyond PhD stage. But we are engineers. We are economists. Always we will try to economize. Or always we will try to reduce the machine cost. Price should be reduced, that's it. Because our machine is not a toy to play with. Okay? Machine is very big, right? Megawatts of power it has to handle. Always you have to keep this point in mind. Megawatts of power it is going to handle. Meaning that crores of rupees. Crores of rupees. Okay, so the moment crores of rupees like kids play, you should not do that, right? So always keep that point in mind. For example, measuring instruments will be there, right? Measuring instruments very small, small things. Okay, the price also can be in thousands or maximum lakhs. Okay, so the moment price is less, we can optimize them in a different way. But machines, crores of rupees, okay, it is not supposed to be uh, like uh, dealt in a kid's way. But anyway, in our machines, I'm going to start in this way. <clears throat> First, I'm starting from tomorrow, transformers. Okay. And I'll, at each and every step of uh, present discussion, you will understand, you will understand the maturity. Okay. Why I say machines means maturity. That's it. Okay. First, we are going to start with, if you think of uh, transformers, uh, four machines are there, right? So transformers will be there and kind of uh, synchronous machines will be there, induction machines will be there, DC machines will be there. In all the machines, operating media, operating media, why we use magnetic field only, why not electrical field? Okay, of course, we know interaction of both the things should be there. Okay, but primarily our operating medium in any electrical machine, any electrical machine, why we are using magnetic field only, why not electrical field? This is ESC interview question. We are going to start with that and then we are going to connect that with measuring instruments because in measuring instruments we have electrostatic voltmeter. Electrostatic voltmeter operating principle or operating media is going to be electric field. Okay, don't think that only with magnetic field only we can use. No, 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 we can use electric field also. Again, we are not scientists. Okay, we are engineers. We are economists. Okay, that's why we are going to consider magnetic field as operating media in all the machines. So, importance of magnetic field we are going to discuss. And again, contradiction also. And because always contradiction has to be understood properly, then only we get some kind of maturity. Okay, and then contradiction is going to be electric field. We cannot say that uh, electric field will never be used. No, no, no. In electrostatic voltmeter, we are using that electric field. But why we don't use in machines, we are going to discuss. And after that, as usual, purpose of machines, machine analysis. Okay. For example, if I have transformer, physical transformer, if I want to find efficiency, why to model like uh, the approximate equivalent circuit, exact equivalent circuit, and why to calculate efficiency from there. Directly, we can take the transformer. Directly, we can connect the load. We can connect one watt meter here, we can connect one watt meter here. And this watt meter reading, output divided by this watt meter reading, input is going to be efficiency, that's it. But why are we analyzing that? Okay, we are going to understand that is the purpose of machine, machine analysis. Okay. <clears throat> and after that, okay, at each and every stage, I am telling you, know, at each and every stage, we are going to understand, we are going to feel the machine like never before, I can say. Okay, then we are going to discuss. Yeah, okay, this is the entry point. This is the entry point, right? Why we are entering into the subject. Then the stages of analysis. The stages of analysis are going to be four, will be the stages of analysis. That is going to be ideal machine. In any machine, we are going to do the same. Okay, first of all, machine we are going to consider it as ideal, and then we are going to run the show at no load and load. At no load and load. Okay. And then, and one more thing is, in ideal machine analysis only, we are going to discuss. For example, we are having iron core, right? Iron core. And in each and every machine, because in our machine means iron, 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 iron only will be there in any, any machine. Right? Everywhere it's iron, except air gap or except copper and insulation. Okay. But the thing is, the moment you use iron, the moment you use iron in the machine, the analysis will become very complex. If you don't have iron, for example, if you are not going to use iron in the machine design, then 
the analysis will become very simple. Complete machine analysis is going to disappear. Every machine can be analyzed with network theory. Just like with network theory, we can analyze all machines without any having complexity, <coughs> without iron. But why we are forced to use iron? Why we are forced to use iron? Okay, there is no other way. It's uh, normally I, I tell to my students using machine, uh, using iron in machines is kind of forced marriage. Okay, you cannot live, you cannot sustain. Okay, because of iron, many problems will come, non linearity will come. Understanding the machine will become very difficult, and analyzing the machine is going to be very difficult, but still, we cannot live iron. We cannot live iron. Okay, and anyway, why, why we cannot live iron? We are going to discuss ideal in the sense. At no load and load, we are going to discuss. This is going to be phase one. Phase one. But ideal machine, will you find ideal machine in practical situation? No. Okay. Just entry point ideal machine, we are going to discuss. And after that, next phase. Next phase is going to be modeling practicalities. Okay. Modeling practicalities. Practicalities. We are going to discuss. Okay. Modeling practicalities meaning that the difference between practical machine and ideal machine. Ideal machine is already done, it is on paper. Practical machine is already existing uh, in practice. So we are trying to bridge the gap between ideal and practical. Ideal and practical. So we will try to model practicalities. Now let us see. At each and every stage, you will get the contradiction. Okay. Now in modeling practicalities, first we are going to model. Maybe hysteresis. And we will understand the complexity being involved in, non, in hysteresis, nonlinearity. So we will enter into nonlinearity. At this stage also, at this stage only, we are going to enter into kind of harmonics. Kind of harmonics. Though harmonics are not that much important in transform, but still we have to discuss. Okay. Then you are going to understand about harmonics a bit. Okay, introduction point, and then we are going to model AD. Okay, and then we are going to discuss how AD is going to be linear. How AD is going to be linear. Okay, why we are forced to discuss these two histories and AD because we don't have any other option. Iron, that's it. Okay, only iron only has to be used in machine. There is no other way. Means before starting this, we are going to discuss about iron, and then we are going to enter into this. Okay. And then, uh, once uh, next we have to discuss no load current. Okay, modeling of no load current. No load current we are going to discuss. And about that, lots of problems, lots of problems we are going to do. Okay, how that flux density importance. Okay, flux density point. Normally, we feel that flux density point or knee point, we say. Our operating point, maximum operating point. Normally, we feel that it should be between linear and non-linear region. No, no, no. We are going to keep operating flux density point in non-linear region only. Intentionally. Intentionally. Though we know that. Though we know that. For example, if I think of BH characteristic of this. Okay. Maybe I can consider from here to here linear. From here to here non-linear. Our operating point will not be here, but at least. No, no. Our operating point will be non-linear region. Okay, though we know that non-linearity will increase complexity, non-linearity will increase harmonics, but always price of the machine. Okay. Because we are not dealing with toys, we are dealing with machines. We are doing, doing we are handling with machines. Okay, so kind of very huge. Anyway, and uh, significance of this particular B max point we are going to discuss, and how it cannot be changed because some questions came in only again. Directly, I say that if any flux density is being asked, obviously the same flux density point will be there because flux density point is not a point to play with. It has to be constant at any cost. That's it. Okay. And then uh, we are going to model leakage. Leakage. Leakage, it should be more or it should be less. First of all, leakage, is it lossy or not? Many students feel that leakage is lossy. No, 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 no. Leakage is lossless. It will not influence efficiency at all. It will not influence efficiency. But why we focus on leakage much? Get my point, right? We focus on leakage because leakage is going to decide the terminal response characteristics of any machine. 
leak age is going to, for example, voltage regulation, torch slip characteristics, or torch speed characteristics, or kind of internal, external, whatever the characteristics, okay, voltage regulation, all characteristics except efficiency is going to be decided by leakage. We are going to discuss that. And after that, once this is over, once this is over, next we will have to come to maturity. Leak should be more or leak should be less. It should be more also, it should be less also. In transforms, we say it should be less. But in synchronous, we say it should be more. It should be more. It should be more. Why it should be more? We are going to discuss. Okay. And after that, normal resistance we are going to discuss. Modeling of resistance, we need not bother much. And then, and then we are going to develop equivalent circuit. We are going to develop equivalent circuit. We are going to build after once all this is done, equivalent circuit is going to be built. Okay. Now, equivalent circuit, you got it. This is going to be phase 3. Phase 2 modeling is over. No? Now, for example, I model, I model just resistors. Okay. Transformer. And one more thing is uh, you have to understand few more details. For example, if I have transformer, if I have transformer, always we keep bindings here, right? Always we keep bindings here. Can't we keep bindings here? Can we keep bindings here and here? Yoke, we say. Can we keep rather than keeping the bindings on limbs? Can I keep bindings on yokes? Your sense of scientist will say that. Yeah, we can keep there. But sense of engineer say that we should not at any cost because it will increase the cost of the machine. Such things also we are going to discuss. Okay? Because complexity, sorry, practicality matters. Price tag matters. Okay. Anyway, for example, if I think of okay, this uh, practical transformer is there for this resistance will be there now for the copper winding. Okay. Now I model that with resistance, for example. But how much is that resistance? For example, leakage I model. How much is that leakage? We have to model that, right? So means leakage is modeled, for example, like this, in like this. Okay. Why it can be linear also, we have to discuss. Okay. And uh, it will become leakage will become linear. Okay, and mutual will become non-linear. Anyway, we are going to discuss that also. It means once you model that with leakage, with leakage with uh, some kind of inductance, we should know how much is the value. Meaning that we are going to enter into testing. By testing the practical machine without actually loading, we, should, we are not supposed to load the machine, just under no load conditions. Actually, without loading the machine, you have to conduct tests, that is OC test and SC test. About the transformers, I am handling now because tomorrow I am starting transformers. So, we and SCTS we are going to conduct and kind of polarity test we are going to conduct. Okay, Sampnas test we are going to conduct and we are going to conduct the middle test also. Okay, and here we are going to discuss like kind of in most test people say LPF what matter. In SC test, we will say HP of no, no, no. Again, LP of only should be yours. Okay. Why? Why? Such a kind of contradictions we have to understand. Okay. And OC test should be conducted at rated voltage and rated frequency only. No other way. Rated voltage and rated frequency only. But SC test can be conducted at any loading conditions with any frequency. You can actually SC test, you can conduct at DC also, no problem. Okay. But of course, leakage finding will be difficult. That's a different story. Okay, now OC test, why it has to be connect, connected at rated voltage and rated frequency only? Yes, it is. Okay, such a kind of things we are going to discuss. Once testing is done, equivalent circuit magnitudes, values of equivalent circuit we are going to find from testing. Fourth one is analysis. That is the purpose we, so we are going to start machines, right? So, fourth one is going to be analysis. <coughs> Our finding terminal response characteristics. Okay, till now we got everything. From this, equivalent circuit is built and the values of equivalent circuit is also known. What you have to do with that? You have to find voltage regulation. You have to find efficiency in, in, with indirect loading. Okay, so we are going to find voltage regulation. Again, we are going to discuss voltage regulation should be more or should be less. Both are right. Means in normal transformers, we say voltage regulation should be less. But in welding transforms, we say it should be more. It should be more. Intentionally, it should be more. Why also we are going to discuss. Okay. And efficiency, we are going to discuss. Okay. And uh, after that, fifth one is going to be applications. 
okay so applications we can think of auto transformer okay in auto transformer in auto transformer we are going to conclude almost till end of the point we will say that auto transformer is better compared to co-winding transformer auto transformer is best auto transformer efficiency is best leakage is least voltage regulation is less such things we are going to discuss at the end one bomb will be there auto transformer cannot be used okay so such things we are going to discuss and after that parallel operation and after that three phase transformers and after that harmonics okay harmonics actually we are going to enter into harmonics in single phase transformer only. we are going to start at single phase transformer only see here about non linear i might have written somewhere okay about non linearity here only we are going to give the introduction to harmonics but at the end you are going to get the clarity why we are analyzing harmonics in three phase transformer only why not in single phase transformer okay and we are going to discuss kind of harmonics flux harmonics is better or current harmonics is better means we are going to conclude that let us have harmonics in current not in flux not in flux okay and again harmonics in flux will be there in synchronous okay this is going to be the structure of transformer after that we are going to start synchronous okay in synchronous also normally what people do emm method jpm method mms method and all those things they will start studying at starting that is the problem that is because the moment these are graphical analysis right mms method is graphical analysis jpm method is graphical analysis and that particular graphs cannot be given in gate graphs you are not supposed to draw okay so in gate or esc okay so that's why we are going to push to push those things to the end uh, those things to the end and without having that we are going to analyze then analysis will become simpler okay and from transformer only we are going to build synchronous because continuation is very much important means from transformer only we are going to connect to synchronous from transformer only we are going to connect to induction induction and dc is a kind of jujube for us because no frequency we need not analyze harmonics no power factor no reactive power and in application also where can you find these emissions not much not much from application point of view also this going to be kind of because dc machine is costlier okay i am means from starting to now i have been telling the same we are economists in machines we are economists we will try to reduce the cost of the machine the moment dc machine is costlier the moment dc machine is costlier we are not going to use mainly in our main power applications we are not going to use okay and again we are going to discuss many things kind of synchronous motor will be there induction motor will be there okay uh, like a synchronous motor normally we don't use induction motor we are going to use why we are going to use induction motor because maintenance is less but industrialists will use synchronous motor why because for them maintenance engineer will be there okay for them operating cost total all over should be less okay so if you think of uh, a farmer in a field he don't know what is meant by dc ac and all just he has to switch on it has to be rotated okay induction motor is going to most rugged motor okay so maintenance in rotating machines least maintenance for least maintenance will be there for induction all over the machine least maintenance will be there for transformer transformer okay in that way in a beautiful way we are going to discuss with lots of problems you need not remember many things because once you get that maturity in this way also you can think in this way also you can think okay in which machine this way of thinking should be analyzed in which machine this contradiction has to be analyzed you will come to know okay meet you soon tomorrow at uh, 5:30 the 16th 5:30 pm and uh, thank you guys like the session subscribe to our channel gate conqueror okay don't forget this oh sorry gate conqueror subscribe to here thank you guys thank you so much